Good morning, guys. Welcome to Ansarkari. So let's start with today's analysis video, which is going to be for 2nd of May 2023. So Supreme Court ye bol raha hai ki it can end wait for consensual divorce. So Supreme Court says ki it can use its extraordinary power, jo Article 142 of the Constitution data hai to the Supreme Court to grant divorce on ground of it irretrievable breakdown of the marriage if separation is inevitable and damage jo hai, that is irreparable. So Supreme Court is basically saying ki jo Article 142 of the Constitution, Supreme Court ko power data hai. It can use that to grant divorce agar aisi koi situation hai in a marriage. So, here we see senior advocate says ki jo judgment hai does not mean people can rush straight to the Supreme Court for a quick divorce. It means that Supreme Court which is using great care and caution can invoke Article 142 to deal with certain cases which come to it by way of the transfer of petitions or appeals in civil or criminal matrimonial disputes. So basically, this meaning is not that you can, no, no, like you can just rush to the Supreme Court that we need a quick divorce. It will applicable. Nahi hoga. But in some rare cases, the Supreme Court can invoke Article 142. In uh, cases, the Supreme Court mein basically petitions ke through ya appeals ke through pauch de hain. So, Supreme Court held ki its extraordinary discretion under Article 140 of the Constitution, it can be used to do complete justice. So, keyword is complete justice, jo hamesha Article 142 se associated rehta hai. So, it can use this for couples which are trapped in bitter marriages by granting them divorce by mutual consent, sparing them the misery of waiting for 6 to 18th months for a local court to declare the annulment final. So, you do this time period ke liye wait nahi karna padega. Agar things are like irreparable, they are inevitable and like irretrievable, you can't go back to the normal situation. So, in this case, the Supreme Court is saying that you don't have to wait for 6 to 18 months because in this case, the lower court gives you judgment deta hai and the final verdict gives lower court and local court. So, in this case, the Supreme Court can use its discretion which is granted by uh, the constitutional article 142. And apart from this, here uh, the judgment of the five petitions, including the lead one, it was filed by Shilpa Salish 2014. And Constitution Bench further observed the way the entire law of divorce was built predominantly on assigning fault on one or the other partner so is basis ke upar is premises ke upar pura jo law of divorce hai na uske upar based hai ki assigning fault aap dusre ke upar blame dal dete ho dusre ki fault nikal dete ho so such an approach fails to serve broken marriages and this is what the court noted. So, if a marriage is wrecked beyond hope of salvage, public interest lies in recognizing this real fact. So, public interest is the same thing that the real fact or real situation is recognized. So, that would make things much more easier and simpler for the people, and that would be actually in the public interest also. So, taking this logic forward, the bench held the Supreme Court, it can also use Article 142 to grant divorce on the ground of irretrievable breakdown of the marriage if separation is inevitable and the damage is irreparable. So, judgment, it is definitely significant as irretrievable breakdown of marriage is not yet a ground for divorce under the Hindu Marriage Act. So, this is a very important factor. Right now, the Hindu Marriage Act hai, Usme jab divorce ki baat aati hai, to irretrievable breakdown of marriage grounds nahi hai if you want to get a divorce. So, us case mein, jo abhi Supreme Court ne bola, it can use its discretionary powers under Article 142. So, that's why it becomes very important. So, judgment uh, cautioned that ground of divorce by the Supreme Court on the ground of irretrievable breakdown of the marriage, it was not a matter of right but it is a matter of discretion which is to be exercised with great care and caution so aapki right nahi hai but it's a matter of discretion which is in the hands of supreme court so court said that facts established must show the marriage has completely failed and there is no possibility that the parties will cohabit together so you have to prove karna padega with evidence so this is all about it
इसके अलावा यू कैन जस्ट गूगल आर्टिकल वन फोर्टी टू टू नो मोर अबाउट कि इन डिटेल थोड़ा बहुत आप जो जनरल चीजें हैं वो आप थोड़ा सर्च कर सकते हो एंड उड़ीसा में वी आर सींग की बिहार स्टेट के बाद उड़ीसा इट बिगिन दी सर्वे ऑफ ओ बी सी कास्ट सो उड़ीसा गवर्नमेंट बिगैन दी सर्वे ऑफ द पीपल फ्रॉम दी अदर बैकवर्ड क्लासेस बिलोंगिंग टू टू हंड्रेड एंड टेन कास्ट इन द स्टेट टू डेटमाइन देयर सोशल एंड एजुकेशनल स्टेटस सो पर्पज क्या है सोशल एंड एजुकेशनल स्टेटस को डिटरमाइन करने के लिए यू आर कैरिंग आउट दिस सेंसस सो उड़ीसा इट बिकम्स द सेकेंड स्टेट टू कंडक्ट द सर्वे आफ्टर बिहार सो स्टेट बैकवर्ड क्लासेस वेलफेयर मिनिस्टर सेड की सर्वे विल कंटिन्यू टिल ट्वेंटी सेवंथ ऑफ मे कुछ चीजें हैं एंड इसके अलावा सर्वे जो कंडक्ट किया जा रहा है इट इज बींग कैरीड आउट बाई उड़ीसा स्टेट कमीशन फॉर बैकवर्ड क्लासेस it is conducting the survey across several blocks and the urban local bodies so kya uh, yahan pe like question ye aata hai ki kya hamare paas ya kya hame ye pan india level pe is types ke survey karne chahiye ya nahi and kaise misuse bhi kiya ja sakta hai ya agar ye kisi law ya kisi fundamental right ko violate karega to wo kya hongi so ek ye perspective hona bhi important hai सो यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड हमेशा इलेक्शन मैनिफेस्टो में इसकी बात की जाती है आर्टिकल फोर्टी फोर ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन है जो यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड की बात करता है एंड आपको पता होना चाहिए कि कौन से पार्ट ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में दिस इज मैंशनड सो फ्रॉम द एग्जामिनेशन परस्पेक्टिव वो हमारे लिए इम्पोर्टेंट है मूविंग फॉरवर्ड हेयर Despite the rain, you can see ki wrestlers they are still at Jantar Mantar, but अभी ऐसा कोई real हमें नहीं दिख रहा है result जिसके लिए वो लोग बैठे हैं they are protesting there and different politicians they are visiting them so that is the situation right now. In this picture you can see one horned rhino and a water buffalo with their calves at Poppy Thora Wildlife Sanctuary in the Moregaon district of. असम सो अब लाइक अगर आपको डिस्ट्रिक्ट भी पता होंगे तो दैट वुड हेल्प यू एंड इसके अलावा ये पता होना चाहिए कि वन हॉर्न राइनो इंडिया में और कहाँ मिलते हैं वन हॉर्न राइनो ग्लोबली और कौन सी कंट्री में मिलते हैं एंड और क्या डिफरेंट स्पीशीज हैं ऑफ राइनोज एंड देर आई यू सी एन स्टेटस कौन से हैबिटेट में दे लिव सो ऑल दीज डिटेल्स दे आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस मूविंग फॉरवर्ड so here next i guess we'll be jumping directly to the editorial page so this article is basically focusing upon jo governor and state governments ke beech mein dispute hai so importance of constitutional punctuality is important thing so ye topic hum pehle bahut baar discuss kar chuke hain article 200 important hai article 175 kya bolta hai different supreme court ki judgments kya hain all of that is very important we have discussed them yahan pe shamshed singh uh, supreme court judgment is mentioned of 1974 and different jo state governments are jo different states mein issues hain between governor and the state government unka yahan pe mention kiya gaya hai so you can just quickly go through ki kaun si states hain jahan pe issue jiski wajah se like this thing is a news and yahan pe then obviously uk ka bhi mention kiya gaya hai wahan pe kya सिस्टम फॉलो किया जाता है देन यहाँ पे डिफरेंट सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजमेंट है 2020 की यू कैन गो थ्रू दैट वंस अगेन सो दैट इज द थिंग ये हम पहले डिस्कस कर चुके हैं तो मैं इसको डिटेल में आई एम नॉट टेकिंग अप दिस टुडे सो दिस आर्टिकल इज सेइंग द टाइटल इज द डेथ ऑफ अनदर नेहरूवियन आइडिया सो नेहरूवियन आइडियाज कौन कौन से होते हैं वो पता होना इम्पोर्टेंट है सो फ्यू डेज बिफोर नेशनल साइंस डे सो नेशनल साइंस डे ट्वेंटी एथ फेबर दिस ईयर एन ऑफिशियल प्रेस रिलीज आया फ्रॉम द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी क्रिप्टिकली अनाउंसड द डेथ ऑफ विज्ञान प्रसार विच वॉज अटोनमस बॉडी अंडर इट्स परव्यू सो विज्ञान प्रसार इट इज बेसिकली नो मोर फंक्शनिंग सो ये एक अटोनमस बॉडी थी under which was under the purview of department of science and technology so national science day basically 28th february ko hum celebrate karte to ye ki fact ho gaya iske alawa vigyan prasar and uske features kya the wo important hai and why like 
it has met with this kind of fate that is also important so obviously it would uh, related to media and journalism so it did not explain ki ye decision kyu liya gaya hai to shut down this agency of vigyan prasad which is tasked with promoting scientific temper and enhancing public understanding of science through communication so jab maine aapne maine bola ki promoting scientific temper so you need to know ki whether it is a part of fundamental duty or not इसके अलावा ऑफिशियल्स दे हैव ट्राइड टू एक्सप्लेन दैट द मूव दिस मूव इट वाज अ पार्ट ऑफ एन एक्सरसाइज व्हिच वाज इनिशिएटेड बाय नीति आयोग टू रैशनलाइज द फंक्शनिंग ऑफ द ऑटोनोमस सोसाइटीज फंक्शनिंग अंडर द वेरियस विंग्स ऑफ यूनियन गवर्नमेंट सो रीजन ये दिया गया कि दिस डिसीजन इट वॉज अ पार्ट ऑफ एन एक्सरसाइज जो नीति आयोग कैरी आउट कर रहा है टू रैशनलाइज फंक्शनिंग ऑफ डिफरेंट ऑटोनोमस बॉडीज अंडर द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट and the fact ki vigyan prasad it is not alone in this exercise it is no consolation the whole affair it has been clogged in secrecy with no public consultation so a key concern hai ki without public consultation without you know making this thing public uh, such types of decisions they are being taken so since it began as an exercise to target the autonomous bodies so target kiya ja raha hai autonomous autonomous bodies ko and it implies the government wants all its agencies to be centrally run and without functional institutional and intellectual autonomy so kisi type ki autonomy unke paas na ho ye bola ja raha hai ki government wants to basically have centralization of power and then yahan pe origins of vigyan prasar ka bhi mention kiya gaya hai to it was started in 1989 it was a nehruvian idea of science communication and scientific awareness tracing itself to the early days of independence so ye us time se start kiya gaya hai and function kiya 1989 se it started functioning nehruvian idea hai it was one of the ideas to you know promote things related to science and to promote scientific temper and awareness so it has been a part of an unbroken chain of government institutions and policies concerning scientific temper since 1947 so for jawaharlal nehru he said ki science and technology they were essential inputs in the nation building project and this is what was reflected in the creation of national laboratories also higher education institutions may be cheese reflect hui larger dams jo banaye gaye and so on jo different ideas aaye aane wale time mein so to fight irrationality and obstructionism nehru supported a scheme to open vigyan mandirs ki aapko agar irrationality se fight karna hai obstructionism se karna hai so you need to have vigyan mandirs basically jo science pe based honge and kyunki science obviously irrationality illogic ko support nahi karti hai science ke piche ek pura process hai science matlab एविडेंस है एंड लॉजिक है हर चीज के पीछे वेन वे टॉकिंग अबाउट साइंस सो दैट्स वॉट जवाहरलाल नेहरू सपोर्टेड मोर साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी क्योंकि वो नेशन बिल्डिंग में बहुत हेल्प करेगा सो दीज साइंस सेंटर्स जो बनाए गए दे वर इस्टेब्लिश टू पॉपुलराइज साइंटिफिक आइडियाज इन रूरल पॉपुलेशन सो रूरल एरियाज पे भी फोकस किया गया उनको इक्विप किया गया विद द बेसिक साइंटिफिक अप्लायसेज बुक्स फिल्म स्लाइड्स एंड ऑल नेसेसरी इक्विपमेंट बेसिकली सो 1960s में बात करें तो साइंस कम्युनिकेशन थ्रू ऑल इंडिया रेडियो एंड कृषि विज्ञान केंद्र इवन दे प्लेड अ पाइवेटल रोल इन द अडोप्शन ऑफ न्यू हाई यील्डिंग क्रॉप वराइटीज दैट पावर्ड द ग्रीन रेवल्यूशन सो इस केस में भी वी सी की ऑल इंडिया रेडियो एंड कृषि विज्ञान केंद्र के टाइम पे जब हम ग्रीन रेवोल्यूशन की बात करते हैं तो दे प्लेड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल जब आती है जो हाई यील्डिंग वराइटीज के अडोप्शन की बात हम करते हैं तो ऑब्वियसली फार्मर्स को ट्रस्ट होना कॉन्फिडेंस होना ओनली देन दे वुड बी गोइंग लाइक फॉरवर्ड विद दैट सो these platforms jo ki uh, create kiye gaye they played a very important role so as new societal challenges emerge hone lage energy crisis ke area mein superstitious beliefs emerged the department of science and technology formed an agency to promote public debate on science and technology so thus we saw that the national council for science and technology communication it was born in 1982 and it supported several voluntary groups also grassroots science movement support kiye gaye and one of the major contributions was bharat jan vigyan jatha so this was a movement which 
uh, like uh, which after its culmination gave birth to a network of voluntary organizations so iske baad se voluntary organizations emerge hone lag gayi so this took the shape of all india people science network jo aaj bhi survive karta hai तो यहाँ पे डिफरेंट चीजें मैंशन है कैसे कैसे आगे चीजें इवॉल्व हुई एंड आज के टाइम में वी आर हैविंग चैनल्स विच इज लाइक इट इज कॉल्ड इंडिया साइंस डॉट इन सो आज के टाइम में एज पर द टेक्नोलॉजी इट हैज इवॉल्व सो चीजें इवॉल्व होती गई इन दी साइंस और रीना सो मोर रिसेंटली हाउ एवर विज्ञान प्रसार इट हैज वीड अवे फ्रॉम इट्स ओरिजिनल मैंडेट सो जो ओरिजिनल मैंडेट था इट डाइग्रेस फ्रॉम इट न्यू प्रोजेक्ट दे वर लॉन्च विदाउट एडिकुएट प्रिपेरेशन एंड कॉर्डिनेशन एंड लाइक फॉर इंस्टेंस वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द एजेंसी स्टार्टेड डी डी साइंस एंड कलेबोरेशन विद दूरदर्शन एज अ वन आर डेली प्रोग्राम जो साइंस की बात करेगा बट इट स्टार्टेड रीहैशिंग डॉक्यूमेंट्रीज टेलीकास्ट ओलियम so this was followed by ott channel which is called india science dot in also so while implementing all these projects vigyan prasad's leadership it fell into the trap of equating science communication with the government publicity so aise cheeze change bhi hoti gayi jo original objective and idea tha usse thoda cheeze hatne lag gayi and apart from this prime minister's republic day speech and pariksha pe charcha so these are like अदर इवेंट्स जो कवर किए गए ऑन दीज ओ टी टी साइंस चैनल एंड साइंस चैनल ड्यूटिफुली हाईलाइटेड इवन माइनर इवेंट्स जो हुए इन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसी ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सो मैनेजमेंट ऑल्सो ओपन ए रिवॉल्विंग डोर बिटवीन द एजेंसी एंड विज्ञान भारतीय का विभा एंड एफिलेट ऑफ द राष्ट्रीय स्वयं सेवक संघ सो दिस वॉज लाइक ऑल द इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग्स एंड डेवलपमेंट जो हमने देख ली है सो गवर्नमेंट इट हैज नॉट डिस्कलोज इट्स मोटिव टू क्लोज विज्ञान प्रसार and in any case the idea of vigyan prasar is an agency to promote the scientific temper and critical thinking that is dead so it does not matter if the entity it is allowed to survive in any other form so basically jo at at matlab jaise jaise time beetta gaya jo coverage di gayi by vigyan bharsi ya jo bhi matlab vigyan prasar वो चीजें मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव से डायग्रेस होती गई चीजें थोड़ी उससे दूर हटती गई तो इवन इफ यू रिवाइव इट अगेन या वो किसी और फॉर्म में वर्क करता है सो so उसका भी कोई फायदा नहीं होगा तो चाइना इज द वर्ल्ड चैंपियन इन बोथ ओपन एंड वुमेन्स चेस बट इंडिया इज इन अ सुपीरियर पोजिशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ द टैलेंट वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट चेस सो चाइना इज ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द वर्ल्ड सो चाइना इट नाउ होल्ड बोथ द मेन्स एंड वुमेन्स वर्ल्ड टाइटल्स इन चेस एंड राइट नाउ वी सी डिंग लरन हु वन द टाइटल ऑन मंडे and ju wenjum is set to defend her title in july so yet with 49 gms grand um, and four super gms china it lags behind its neighbor india which has 80 gms and five super gms so the tables and the graphs they are also based on the collated uh, they are collated from the ratings fight dot com so this is basically data liya gaya but hamare liye thoda like itna idea hona is sufficient ki when it comes to talent so india china se aage hai so women they register for ladi behna scheme uh, of the mp government so this is in the state of mp apart from this uh, china's amended anti espionage law so this is china specific itna detail mein jana is not so important for us so yahan pe baat ki ja rahi hai ki amendments they come amid a string of high profile cases which involves journalists foreign executives as well as international companies in china who have come under the lens of authorities on national security grounds so idea behind the legislation is to prevent stop and punish espionage conduct and maintain national security so that's the reason jo abhi amendment kiya gaya hai by china reason is from their national security perspective so 26th april ko china's legislature approved the sweeping amendments to china's anti espionage law broadening the scope of what may be defined as activities related to spying and national security so jo definition thi usko thoda aur broad kar diya gaya hai and broad ambit of what constitutes now national security as well as laws focus on involving a whole of society approach to counter espionage involved it evoked concerns among both the rights groups and the foreigner जो फॉरेन एंटरप्राइजेस चाइना में हैं, सो अमेंडमेंट्स दे हैव कोइंसाइडेड विद द नंबर ऑफ रीसेंट हाई प्रोफाइल केसेस व्हिच ऑब्जर्व्स 
uh, observers have seen to reflect a broadening scope for anti-espionage activities as well as widening definitions of the national security. So basically, when definition ko aur zyada broad kiya ja raha hai to china is trying ki more and more things they come into its ambit as uh, like we are talking about the anti espionage law so that's how china is moving forward so here we talk about the psychedelic substances so the ever expanding medical uses and their properties so what are these psychedelic drugs which are banned in India under the Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Substances Act? They are emerging in the research as promising ways to treat the treatment-resistant depression and the post-traumatic stress disorder. So right now, psyched, uh, psychedelic drugs are banned in India mein hai under this act. But uh, as per research, we find out kiya gaya hai ki they are being uh, like helpful and useful when it comes to treating these two conditions so these are a group of drugs that alter your perception your mood and thought processing while a person is still clearly conscious so that's the impact they have and usually the person's insight that also remains unimpaired so psychedelics they are non-addictive and non-toxic compared to the illicit drugs and they are less harmful to the end user so india may under this act of 1985 it prohibits the use of psychedelic substances so ketamine it's a disassociative anesthetic with psychedelic properties so one example is ketamine and it is used under strict medical supervision for anesthesia and treatment-resistant depression. So medical areas may still use kiya jata hai, but for your normal consumption, it's completely prohibited and banned. So here mentioned bhi kya gaya ki how do these drugs they work in the body. I think that's not important from the examination perspective. But itna pata ho na ki what are these types of drugs in India mein kya ye allowed hai ya nahi. Kahan pe ye help kar sakte hain and ek example ki baat hum kar chuke hain. So government ne 14 apps ko ban kar diya hai Jammu Kashmir mein sites used by the terror groups. So bola ja raha tha ki ye apps terror groups use kar rahe hain. So these apps they have been banned in Jammu and Kashmir. So you need to go through the list of those 14 apps and ensure ki you are not using them. So here a few names they are mentioned. Some of the apps that have been banned in Jammu and Kashmir. So these are as per the recommendations of the Union Home Ministry. So basically, these apps and communication platforms they allow encrypted messaging. So basically, जो दो लोग chat कर रहे हैं बस वो ही उनको read कर सकते हैं और कोई third party they can't gain like access to all those messages. So basically, in apps का misuse किया जा रहा था by the terror groups and that is the main reason why government has banned them. So they were used by terror organizations in the region. Officials, including those from the Jammu and Kashmir police, they had initially recommended that the popular messaging platforms like Snapchat be included among these banned apps. But the Home Ministry and Electronics and IT Ministry they have ultimately Ultimately, did not include it. So Snapchat is out of this list. So Snapchat ko ban nahi kya kya hai. The list of apps they were it was determined after authorities examined the phones which were used by the detained operatives. So Threema is one app. It's a messaging app, and Zangi and Cripwiser, Bechat, Brera. These are types of the apps which have been banned. And like Wikomi, it's another one. So WhatsApp ki baat kare to it provides metadata like users ki jo phone book hai ya call history hai upon request from the law enforcement authorities in response to the legal request. So WhatsApp data provide kar deta hai government ko ya to the respective authorities. India leads in laundering the Russian oil and selling it to Europe as per a report. So, this is what we have done before. That the 
रशिया के ऊपर सैंक्शन लगाए गए तो डायरेक्ट ट्रेड uh, नहीं हो रहा है बिटवीन रशिया एंड यूरोप बट नाउ दैट इज स्टार्टेड हैपनिंग वाया इंडिया जब हम क्रूड ऑयल की बात करते हैं एंड दैट्स व्हाट इज मेंशन ओवर हियर कि प्राइस कैप कोलेशन कंट्रीज दे हैव इंक्रीज द इंपोर्ट्स ऑफ रिफाइंड ऑयल प्रोडक्ट्स from india china turkey uae and singapore that have become the largest importers of the russian crude so ye countries india china turkey uae and singapore we are like massively importing russia's crude oil and then refine karke we are then re exporting them to the european countries so ye ek basically new trade route emerge ho gaya of trading uh, when it comes to crude oil एंड इसके अलावा जो इंडिया का मैसेवली शेयर इंक्रीज हुआ है इन टर्म्स ऑफ इम्पोर्टिंग द क्रूड ऑयल फ्रॉम रशिया उसकी हम बात कर चुके हैं एंड इसके अलावा टॉप फोर क्रूड ऑयल एक्सपोर्टिंग कंट्रीज टू इंडिया दैट इज आल्सो इम्पोर्टेंट सो ये क्रोनोलॉजी इज इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर एस and you can see wrestlers they are गेटिंग सपोर्ट फ्रॉम मोर नंबर ऑफ लीडर्स बट दे रिफ्यूज सिक्योरिटी कवर बाय द पुलिस बट जो प्रेजिडेंट है ऑफ द रेस्लिंग फेडरेशन ऑफ इंडिया अभी उसके अगेंस्ट कोई एक्शन नहीं लिया गया है He's still the president of this body so prime minister says ki success kisi bhi initiative ka it lies on jo impact wo logo ke upar create karta hai so only then we can say ki koi initiative successful hua hai ya nahi jo intended impact tha of bringing a change in people's life agar wo ho raha hai if that is visible on the ground then we can say that the initiative was successful otherwise it was futile ya yeah, fir not uh, up to the mark as it was expected so japan is going to train 1000 indian engineers for bullet train project and that's the high speed rail track system for the mumbai ahmedabad high speed rail corridor so jo bullet train ka track hai it will be built between mumbai and ahmedabad it will use the blast less slab track system which is popularly known as j slab track system as used in the japanese uh, high speed railways so jo japanese ट्रैक सिस्टम है वो यूनिक है इन द वर्ल्ड एंड द टेक्नीशियंस दे रिक्वायर हाई लेवल ऑफ स्किल टू ले इट डाउन सो फॉर दैट जापान इज गोइंग टू ट्रेन 1000 इंडियन इंजीनियर्स फॉर दैट सो द ट्रैक इज द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट कंपोनेंट ऑफ द एचएसआर सिस्टम एंड नीड्स टू बी लेड विद वेरी हाई डिग्री ऑफ एक्यूरेसी सो वेरी हाई डिग्री ऑफ एक्यूरेसी इज व्हाट इज रिक्वायर्ड another batch of 186 indians they are back home from sudan under operation kaveri so it's to evacuate the citizens which are stranded in this violent set sudan so the operation that's in progress and more number of indians they are reaching back to india so inaugural asean india maritime exercise in south china sea from today so the name of the exercise becomes much more important and since asean ke sath ho rahi hai to the members of asean there are 10 member countries aapko pata hona chahiye ki india is a member or not so india is not a member of asean and जो आरसेप था वाई इंडिया डि नॉट साइन दैट एंड थिंग्स रिलेटेड टू इट ऑल ऑफ दैट इज इम्पोर्टेंट सो इन स्टेप फर्दर इन दी एक्सपैंडिंग इंडिया आसियान आसियान स्टैंड फॉर एसोसिएशन ऑफ साउथ ईस्ट एशियन नेशन सो मिलिट्री कॉपोरेशन इट इज द फर्स्ट आसियान इंडिया मेरी टाइम एक्सरसाइज सो शॉर्ट इज ए आई एम ए इट इज सेट टू बिगिन ऑन ट्यूजडे इन द साउथ चाइना सी so it's going to provide an opportunity for the indian navy and asean navies to work together closely and conduct seamless operations in the maritime domain so the harbor phase of the exercise is scheduled to be held in the changi naval base so you need to find out the location and the sea phase would be in the south china sea between 7 to 8th of may so the ships during their port call at singapore they will also participate in the I am Dex twenty three and I am SC. So the inaugural edition of this naval and the maritime defense event I am Dex it was held in nineteen ninety seven and has since been expanding year on year. So there are about fifty delegations this year. and even indian maldives they are also working closely to address the shared challenges including maritime security 
terrorism, radicalization, organized crime, natural disasters. So these are all the keywords. You can note them down. We can take a screenshot. Coming to the world page. So here we need to know what different countries are going on. Here we are seeing Russia missile attack on Ukraine city. It injures 34 people, damages the homes. Still, this war goes on. So cruise missiles and ballistic missiles. You have to know what technology is used in the two of them. So despite the truth, Sudan near the breaking point as per United Nations. So gun battles and explosions again, they rocked Sudan's capital. On Monday, despite the latest truce formally agreed between the warring parties, on, as the UN warned, the humanitarian crisis ha, it had brought the country near its breaking point. So chaos and bloodshed now in their third week have sparked a mass exodus of tens of thousands of Sudanese to neighboring countries. So Sudan ki neighboring countries mein jha people are moving as refugees. That includes Egypt, Shad and Central African Republic. So jo refugee camps hai unki location pata hona important hai kyaunki is type ka question already prelims mein poocha ja chuka hai and since this country is in news so things they become much more important. So capital of Sudan, it's Khartoum and Bape violence or Zada and attacks are increase on him. And different countries, they are carrying out their evacuation operations. So that's known. UN holds talks on Afghanistan crisis in Qatar without Taliban. So Taliban authorities, they will be absent from the UN-led talks on Afghanistan that opened on Monday in Qatar as government spokesman rejects linking the international engagement with the women's rights in the crisis-stricken country. So invoice from US, China, Russia, as well as major European aid donors and key neighbors like Pakistan, they are the representatives from about 25 countries and groups they have been called for talks by the UN Secretary General Anthony Guterres. So Afghanistan ke jo Taliban rulers hai, however, they have not been invited to meeting, which would focus on how to deal with them. So the meeting hai, main focus is on how to deal with the Taliban regime ke wale ho, and press them to ease a ban on women working and girls going to school. So women rights, women freedom and liberty ke jo ban lagaye ja rahe hai, jis se they have been restricted. Wo ek, uh, Dusra topic of discussion on Ewala in this meeting. And so they are basically going to discuss about ki how countries, yeah, how United Nations need to deal with the situation in Afghanistan right now. Coming to the business page, so year-end compliances lift the April GST revenue to record 1.87 lakh crore rupees. So that's a new record. And revenue from the goods imported, they have declined for about 4.5%, even as the domestic transactions have yielded 16% more taxes. So normalizing base and cooling inflation to moderate the growth in GST revenue in the coming quarters. Scaling new highs, most of the monthly GST revenue hit an all-time high in April on the back of year-end compliances. So because of that, that's the main reason that we have made this new record. India's power use dips 1.1% in a, in the month of April. So that's one thing. So PMI signals April ki jo manufacturing hai, it has hit a four month high. Input cost, they have also climbed at the same time. So that's a challenge. So India's manufacturing sector, it saw new orders and output record their strongest growth so far in 2023. Uh, in the month of April, and that's as per a survey based of uh, based on the basis of uh, S and P Global India Manufacturing Purchasers Manager Index, which has rose to fifty seven point two from fifty six point four in March. So, the overall sentiment here about the prospects a year ahead improved from the March eight month low. So, as manufacturing sector, maybe are gaining more confidence. New orders are coming. Volume is also rising, output is also increasing, but the challenge here that is rising input cost. But we are seeing that the inventory here they are falling. The finished products stocks him. On the other hand, they have depleted at the fastest pace this year, because demand it stayed resilient. 
मतलब डिमांड में इतना ज्यादा स्लो डाउन देखने को नहीं मिल रहा है तो जो इन्वेंट्री है दैट इज बीन फॉलोइंग क्योंकि एट द सेम टाइम कंसर्न ये भी थे कि आने वाले टाइम में डिमांड स्लो डाउन हो सकती है तो इतना ज्यादा इन्वेंट्री बिल्डअप पे काम नहीं किया गया सो दैट्स वाई वी आर सींग की फास्टेस्ट पेस पे वी आर सींग की इन्वेंट्री इज दे आर डिप्लीटिंग एज फार एज फिनिश्ड प्रोडक्ट्स के स्टॉक्स की अगर हम बात करें तो क्योंकि डिमांड रेजिलेंट रही इतना ज्यादा स्लो डाउन हमें देखने को नहीं मिला so retail sector to lead hiring of women with these stem qualifications and is case mein india is comparatively better than other country so stem stands for science technology engineering and mathematics and top 5 industry domains planning to raise their intake of the stem qualified women in 2023 it includes retail e-commerce healthcare pharma it its services construction and reality sector and fmcg nlb services and these are the basically sectors which are going to intake more women who have stem qualifications so trade pact it lifts india's financial 2023's exports to uae to around 31.3 billion dollars so exports from india to uae they have grown by almost 12% in the previous year to hit 31.3 billion dollars more than double the 5.3% growth in india's overall exports and that is the trend taking up the mint newspapers so why still we are seeing kit chips they are a cause of concern for the car makers even after the pandemic so pandemic it's over now and india recorded its best passenger vehicle sales in the previous financial year so why do shortages they continue to niggle but chips ki agar hum shortages ki baat kare to that still continues and how has the chip supply shaped up since 2021 so obviously covid-19 pandemic ki wajah se there was a global shortage of the semiconductor chips as demand for the uh, electronic devices bahut zyada increase ho gayi kyunki digitization ya digital services pe hamara dependence itna zyada increase ho gaya because of covid-19 so uski wajah se electronic devices ki demand increase ho gayi but at the same time supply side factors ya supply side shocks ki wajah se semiconductor chips ki jo demand sorry jo supply tha wo kam ho gaya so this caused supply chain disruptions across the sector so demand and supply mismatch dekhne ko mila so automotive industry it relies heavily on these chips so electronic devices mein and automotive industries mein uh, ye chips use ki jati hain and the chip shortage it, it's all but over as per the jp morgan research so that's the reason still shortage uh, they are still being faced so challenge kya hai while there is we are seeing ki overall availability improve ho gayi hai but the nature of the supply chain disruption it has changed so nature has changed increasing electrification hum dekh rahe hain electric vehicles manufacturing and their demand is also increasing preference for high end passenger vehicles means ki jo shortages hai of specific chips and electronics it will continue for some products क्योंकि कल भी हमने बात करी थी कि जो हाई एंड प्रोडक्ट्स हैं उनकी डिमांड इंक्रीज हो रही है सो दिस इन टर्न मीन्स कि जो बहुत सारे व्हीकल मैन्युफैक्चरर्स हैं दे आर अनेबल टू रैम्प अप द वॉल्यूम्स ऑफ इन डिमांड प्रोडक्ट्स सो जो हाई एंड व्हीकल्स हैं उनमें सिर्फ स्पेसिफिक टाइप ऑफ चिप्स यूज की जाती है तो सिंस डिमांड इंक्रीज हो रही है सच टाइप्स ऑफ व्हीकल्स उसकी वजह से वी आर फेसिंग दिस प्रॉब्लम ऑफ शॉर्टेज फॉर इंस्टेंस सम इंडियन ऑटोमेकर दे आर ग्रेपलिंग विद डर्थ ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कंट्रोल यूनिट चिप्स फॉर एयर which is impacting the waiting periods as well so delivery dates have they improved for the automakers so isme jaane ki zarurat nahi hai what is the impact on the production plan so maruti suzuki which is india's largest car maker expects the chip shortage to continue to impact the production even in the current financial year so even in this case when we talk about atmanirbhar bharat and increasing our self sufficiency so us cheez pe bhi focus kiya ja raha by the government we are having projects and schemes in order to ensure ki we set up such facilities ki india may be manufacture them domestically and itna zyada hame imports pe dependent na hona pade so that's important you can find out about the name of the schemes ya jo government steps le rahi hai regarding that now moving on to the next newspaper so taking up uh, the next newspaper as financial express so growth outlook it improves 
जीएसटी की बात करें रेल फ्रीड की बात करें यूपीआई इट हिट रेकर्ड सो फर्स्ट विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस डेटा जो दिया हुआ है इन सच अ नाइस मैनर सो ग्रॉस जीएसटी कलेक्शन हम ऑलरेडी बात कर चुके हैं अप्रैल में वन पॉइंट एट सेवन लाख करोड़ रुपीज वॉज द अमाउंट कलेक्टेड रेलवे फ्रीड में अगेन वी आर सींग वन फोर्टी फोर पॉइंट फाइव सेवन मिलियन टन इज दॉल्यूम पी एम आई में भी इट इज मेकिंग न्यू रिकॉर्ड सर्विसेज पी एम आई भी होता है मैनुफैक्चरिंग पी एम आई भी होता है ये पता होना इज इम्पोर्टेंट सर्विसेज में इट्स एट अराउंड फिफ्टी सेवन पॉइंट एट इन द मंथ ऑफ मार्च एंड मैनुफैक्चरिंग में इट्स एट फिफ्टी सेवन पॉइंट टू इन द मंथ ऑफ अप्रैल सो दैट्स देयर लाइक दोनों इंक्रीज हो रहे हैं वेकेंसी एंड हायर लेवल पे अगर हम दोनों की बात करें तो सर्विसेज पी एम आई हायर लेवल पे है एंड यू पी आई ट्रांजेक्शन वॉल्यूम में बात करें तो यू कैन सी जो ब्लू बार्स हैं दे आर शोइंग द वॉल्यूम ऑफ यू पी आई ट्रांजेक्शन वैल्यू की बात करें तो इट्स इट इज एट राउंड रुपीज फोर्टीन ट्रिलियन रुपीज नॉन फूड क्रेडिट ग्रोथ नॉन फूड सेक्टर्स में क्रेडिट ग्रोथ देखे तो दैट्स एट ऑल्सो एट अ गुड लेवल सो दिस इज बेसिकली शोइंग की इवन आर इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ विल गेट अ बूस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ ऑल दीज फैक्टर्स so march 1 uh, sorry may 1 is celebrated as may day so in this picture you can see an iconic celebration was there on may day in colombo so portraits of the communist icons agar hum right se dekhe to sabse pehle karl marx in this picture then next we have frederick engels waldemar lenin they are carried on cars during a rally which was organized by the people's liberation front a marxist leninist political party hai to mark the may day in colombo sri lanka the godfather of artificial intelligence quits google and he says he basically warns of the danger ahead regarding artificial intelligence technology and its usage and kaise cheeze evolve ho rahi hain so from ground breaker to the dooms sayer so inflection point ki baat kare google has spent around 44 million dollars to acquire a firm started by dr hinton and his students so this system led to the creation of increasingly powerful technologies create ki gayi industry leaders they believe ki new artificial intelligence systems jo hain they could be an important as uh, the introduction of the web browser in early 1990s but after new chat gpt version jo March में आया 1000 technology leaders and researchers they called for a six month moratorium on artificial development जो artificial intelligence and development है regarding that the technology leaders and experts they are saying कि छह महीने का moratorium होना चाहिए और कोई नई developments नहीं की जानी चाहिए कोई research and development नहीं होनी चाहिए at the artificial intelligence front so Dr. Jeffrey Hinton says, "Ki I console myself with a normal excuse. If I hadn't done it, somebody else would have done it. So it's hard to see how you can prevent the bad actors from using it for bad things. So the potential is basically that's very huge. And here, in short, me you can see uh, turning the PPE waste into the bricks. So that's how basically things are being reused. So five students from Tamil Nadu College they have find value in." कोविड एरा ट्रैश सो बेसिकली इसको भी इन अ वे बिजनेस के लाइक इट इज बींग कन्वर्टेड इन टू द फॉर्म ऑफ अ बिजनेस बाई स्टूडेंट्स जी एस टी कलेक्शन रिकॉर्ड ग्रेट न्यूज फॉर द इंडियन इकोनॉमी राइजिंग टैक्स कलेक्शन डिस्पाइ द लोअर टैक्स रेट शोज की सक्सेस ऑफ हाउ जी एस टी इज इंक्रीज द इंटीग्रेशन एंड द कम्प्लाइंस थिंग सो वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक फोरम इकोनॉमिस दे आर डिवाइडेड ऑन द ग्लोबल इकोनॉमिक रिकवरी सो देर इज एन अर्जेंट नीड फॉर बोथ द शॉर्ट टर्म ग्लोबल पॉलिसी कोऑर्डिनेशन एज वेल एज द लॉन्ग टर्म कोऑपरेशन अराउंड न्यू फ्रेमवर्क फॉर ग्रोथ दैट विल हार्ड वायर इंक्लूजन सस्टेनेबिलिटी रेजिलेंस इन टू द इकोनॉमिक पॉलिसी सो ये सारे फैक्टर्स इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कि दे आर प्रेजेंट इन आर इकोनॉमिक पॉलिसीज इंक्लूजन सस्टेनेबिलिटी एंड रेजिलेंस so this is coming from the md of the world economic forum is ke alawa you need to know about the reports like they published the chief economist outlook report 2023 so that's there and 
Need for early resolution of the impasse, so RBI and SEBI, they refuse to budge as ESMA deadline passes. So taking a firm stand, ESMA had asked the Indian regulators to sign an agreement giving it the power to monitor and supervise six Indian clearing corporations. So ESMA is the European Securities and Market Authority. And basically, uh, RBI and SEBI both refuse kar rahe hai to you know, give them the power to monitor and supervise six Indian clearing corporations. So this is an impasse which is going on between India and Europe. So India's financial sector regulators, which are led by RBI and even SEBI, they are learned to have refused to give ESME the supervisory powers for the Indian clearing corporation. So that's like true also. Why would we give European Securities and Market Authority supervisory powers over Indian clearing corporations? So why that needs to be given is to be understood. But for the time being, this has been refused by RBI. So Indian regulators, they are opposed to giving supervisory power to a foreign entity on the clearing corporations, which among themselves, they clear and settle the country's entire cash and derivatives market and the equity is bond in the forex. So jab cheeze India mein ho rahi hai, but it is happening between the Indian entities. So aap kisi foreign entity ko q supervisory power doge. So obviously that's logical and that's legitimate. So under the European market infrastructure regulation on the clearing corporations, not established in the European Union, they may provide clearing services to clearing members of the trading venues established in the European Union only if it is recognized by ESMA. So, ye basically European market infrastructure regulation but we have not provided them with a supervisory power. So, UAE is now the major supplier of aircraft parts to India. So, we have signed this uh, recently, we have signed a SEPA with UAE, Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement. Exports, ki baat kare, so they are like basically growing and they would grow further. We have hit a new output record when we're talking about the coal sector in the month of April to 73 million tons. So coal production rose 8.67% year on year to record 73 million tons in April. So India's coal production has made new record of highest production during the month of April this year. So even coal ministry, it is taking steps so as to, you know, release and utilize uh, in a greater manner, the mining of the mining capacities of the captive and the private coal blocks. So which has led to an increase in the coal production also. So even ministry is taking adequate steps so as to ensure good and adequate demand of the coal in the market. So here you should know the powers and the functions of the Genetic Engineering Appraisal Committee. So we are seeing that delaying the approval to the hybrid seeds, it hits the cotton production. So we should know that cotton rabi crop is a kharif crop. Hai. Cotton output over the years, it has been given from 2002. So decadal data has been given in the data. You can see that there is no steady trend, there is no uniform trend. Nahi hai, ki yeah, the continuous decline or continuous increase where some in a year when we're talking about the cotton output. So, yeah, cheese the hand important here. Taking up lastly the Indian Express. So, Joe diversity related cheese, we've already discussed. Supreme Court ne kya bola hai under Article 142, which talks about complete justice. So, from phones to cars, premium segment rakes in the numbers. So, lower end segment across the product categories, they have uh, categories records tepid demand. So, widening divide hum dekh even in cars, mobiles, and FMCGs. So, ye humne kal baat kar di thi already. Then down under in Mumbai, India's first undersea tunnels to open in November. Undersea tunnels are going to be open up first in Mumbai. And the twin tunnels, they have been shown in this map. So tunnels, they start at Girgaon and they end at Breach Candy. So they are a part of the Mumbai Coastal Road Project also. And the largest tunnel boring machine ever deployed in India was used for this 
प्रोजेक्ट ऑल्सो सो ये पिक्चर है अंडर सी टनल की Now we'll directly come to the editorial section and the explained page. So India UK war games. Indian Army personnel during the seventh edition of India UK military exercise Ajaya Warrior. So you need to remember the name. Ajaya Warrior is between India and UK. So it's a military exercise, biennial training exercise, which is conducted alternatively in the UK and India. And this time it's happening in the Salisbury Plains in the UK. So, the Ludhiana gas tragedy kal hui, uh, we saw ki which was the gas. And when I told you that you need to find out about the properties of the gas, and that's very important. So, or is mein aur kuch, uh, itan zada important details nahi hai. Central Pollution Control Board ka mention kiya gaya. You can find out about its functions and the powers. Hunger paradox in India. India, it has seen notable success in various production metrics for the food items. Yet, if we try to understand the statistics, they underscore that sufficiency in the production does not necessarily mean that we have attained food security among the population. That's So that's the paradox, basically. If we talk food production, ki baat kare, we are like a food surplus country. But... At the same time, if we are saying we are producing sufficiently, this means that we have attained food security among the population. So to achieve the SDG goal of zero hunger and building on the Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojana, India should consider a strategic initiative which is led by Prime Minister's office aimed at eliminating food insecurity in India and ensuring affordable access to sufficient quality and the quantity of food. Diverse food basically with a special and immediate focus on India's youngest children. So different SDGs they have been mentioned in this article. SDG 2, it talks about zero hunger. And specifically, we have talked overall ki India ki progress kya hai at these uh, SDG front. So we have some goals deke pe we are on target and kuch Goals aise hain where we have high concerns. So that is majorly related to women welfare. Jahan pe the things are of high concern. Moving forward. So macroeconomic stability is the bedrock for sustained medium term growth. So Sajid Jinnah is the chief Indian economist of J.P. Morgan and part-time member of the Prime Minister's Economic Advisory Council also. And on the U.S. banking crisis also and the global slowdown, what it means for India. So he's shared his views. So let's delve into this. So on the GDP growth target for India in the current financial year, he says ki some slowing is inevitable. Kuch amount, ki, kuch amount of slowdown jo dekhne ko milega. That is inevitable. Usko we can't like ignore or we can't uh, say ki that is not going to happen. Compared to last year, slowdown thoda sa hoga, that's inevitable. But he says, given the unprecedented uncertainty we are living through, there is limited utility of providing point estimates for growth ya fir aap inflation ki baat kare in the current environment kyoki standard errors jo abhi current time mein hai, they are very large. So a range is more useful to work with at the moment. So agar aap particular range ki baat karoge, chahi inflation ki baat ho ya growth ki baat ho, so that is much more, we can say it is making sense given the current situation, current environment, economic environment ki agar hum baat kare, kyunki exact target dena would not be like, uh, it, it is not going to suit the situation right now that we are in. So that's what he believes and regarding the public sector banks staving off the crisis. So what matters more than the ownership of the bank is the quality of regulation. So ownership is more important than the quality of regulation kya hai in order to prevent any like bank failures. So India's regulators have always placed great premium on prudence, 
and that has helped India better withstand the global shocks. So, jo Indian regulators hai, when we talk about RBI, so we have given great premium to prudence. And that's the main reason ki why we say ki even India's banking system is resilient. So banking sector health definitely India may improve hua hai. So wo kaise pata chalta hai? Jo non-performing assets hai, they have been lower and banks, they are better capitalized today. So financial stability, it is a must in a world which is peppered with shocks. So financial stability is very important. Ho jati hai. So the important indicator is the NPAs and the banks, they are better capitalized. So that's why we are saying key health of banking sector, it has improved. So impact on India, ki baat kare. so there are multiple transmission channels from the current global events to India. Definitely, that's very true. In the globalized world, jo transmission channels, hai, there are also multiple. So in the impact through exports, Pathkaro, commodity prices, capital inflows, US bond yields on the Indian bond yields, changing risk premium from increased uncertainty. Ye kuch, uh, like transmission channels are jinka India ke upar bhi impact hota hai. So we will need to keep a close eye on all these channels of transmission and how uh, basically they are interacting with each other. So policy prescriptions ki baat kare for India. So what he suggests, so keep pushing on the public investment to mitigate slowing exports. So slow down exports, mein, agar hume, like we need to perform nicely at the exports front. So public investment will important role play. Karegi. So work to crowd in the states and the PSU's capital expenditure. Eventually private investment would also flow in. And furthermore, he says, ki continue to place a premium on the macroeconomic stability, which means keeping inflation under control. Second, continuing with the fiscal consolidation. Basically, that is like reducing the fiscal deficit. Third is building buffers and keeping a very close eye on financial stability. So these are all the important things and areas. So in diverse, Supreme Court ki kya power hai to do complete justice under Article 142. So you can basically just go through it once kyunki hum iske baare mein already baat kar chuke hain. And irretrievable breakdown hum ne dekh liya jo Hindu Marriage Act hai uske under it is not a ground to you know get divorce. So that's there and different Supreme Court judgments are also mentioned over here. So you can just go through that article 142 of the constitution. Kya bol raha hai? You can read in this part. So even when we talk about Cuba, so it is also like going through an economic turmoil. So her uh, birthplace of the Cuban revolution has been hit by tighter US sanctions and the COVID-19 pandemic. So the reasons are why they were not able to even celebrate the May Day. So because of the fuel shortage, it forces Cuba to cancel its May Day celebrations. So we need to like be aware about what is happening in different countries. So leasing of industrial and warehousing space, it rose 11%. So it is showing that businesses they are expanding or they are like coming back to the normal situation after the COVID-19 pandemic. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for joining us and do hit the like button for this video. Apart from this, do subscribe to the channel if you haven't and We'll be coming up with such valuable analysis videos every day. Thank you so much for joining us.